All right, this is Daddy Jack's Go With The Blues here. Chef Tom, he's uh, from New London High School. He runs an incredible program there, a culinary program. I sure wish I had had that. Uh, I visited him over to school a year or so ago, and uh, uh, they have a community garden that they, you know, they shows the students how to grow their own vegetables. And then at the end of the school year, a lot of stuff is coming in, you know, it's, uh, wasn't ripe during the school year, and there's, you know, some complexes, you know, a lot of people living next door, they, he donates that food, people come and help themselves, and so, uh, so Tom called me up, and Chef Tom, and he said, you know, he's they're doing a lot of online uh, teaching. teaching online, and and uh, here he comes all the way down from Avon, Avon, Canton, Canton right over, to, I mean, it's quite a ways from here, over an hour away, and here is, we're doing our first deliveries with Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues, uh, with our generous donations, you know, from, we'll get into that later, but stay, talk a little bit about things, Tom. Hey, how you doing? So, uh, thank you, uh, Danny Jack, for doing these pizza kits. It's kind of cool that the students can actually do some cooking at their houses right now. You know, give them something to do versus uh, the distance learning, because we do distance learning, we can't really do so much cooking, but this will give them an opportunity to cook a little bit, eat a little bit, and have a great time with their families. It's great, they're a little bonding experience, you know, we're finding, you know, we're, we you know, have generous donations, you know, from, uh, Tom Garbati here at Garbati Builders. He he called me last week and he knew we were doing these giveaways and uh, and uh, he said, whatever you want, just let me know. And I said, well, we'll we'll do it on an as needed basis. Give me a nice uh, donation. Richie uh, Rich Della Santo with Rich's Heating and Air Conditioning, a local heating and air conditioning company, and his family, uh, uh, Gabe and Donna and their family uh, made a nice donation and. And their son Josh, he's got a marine services company, Harbor Harbor Marine Services. Awesome. Uh, he came and met me in the back parking lot, gave me a nice donation, and actually got a family from Fort Worth uh, that watched the YouTube channel, Lonnie and uh, Alanette uh, from Weatherford, and so and many many more. Uh, uh, Fulton Thoreau Funeral Home here. So this is an opportunity for for really community to step up and support and. You know, it's a wonderful thing. You're still making that direct, you know, connect, and uh, you know, you're you're real. You're dedicated to the education, and 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 a, a trade. You know, uh, do you have some of your students have you know gone on to the careers in the profession? Yeah, a lot of students are in the uh, profession. A lot of them work at the casinos. A lot of them, some of them go around the world. So the program is something working for kids. They don't have to go to college. They go right to a career. Yeah. And off they go. Yeah, see, I didn't. I didn't have that luxury. You know, we had a we had wood shop and metal shop, and uh, and if I had had a culinary program, I wouldn't have gone to cooking school. And a home ec program. Home ec. I did home ec. They take an English muffin cut in half with ketchup on it, put American cheese on it, was pizza. We make pizzas for real. <laughs> Daddy Jack's up here make for real. And also at the school, we have a brick oven, so we have all kinds of great things going. Well, on. Well, listen, we talked about it on your ride down. You know, we got on the phone, and you know, me casa's too casa. You know, you want to do anything out of this kitchen. Uh, right now we're shut down, so you know, I, you know, I'm prepared to do like a soup kitchen if things really get as uh, drastic as down in Texas. My friends down in Texas got two-hour lines at the food bank and community churches. Uh, a friend of mine, you know, said he was, do you know, donated all, you know, monies over the years to North Texas Food Bank, and now he's a participant in it, you know, receiving. So we can't do enough, and uh, we really appreciate you, Tom. Thank you. All right, and you got some friends coming, uh, families, going to help you donate stuff. or di distribute? Yes. All right, God bless. We'll, we're going to move on to the front porch, which is a little warmer. All right, Tom. Thank you. Okay, Chef Tom. Axel, come here. Hey, hope you enjoy it. Six feet. Yeah. All right here. What, what's your name, sir? Cameron Lewis. Cameron Lewis, and what, you're volunteering to deliver some of the uh, pizza kits? That's what I'm doing. Volunteering uh, with the chef at the Wheeler Cafe. My grandson uh, is one of his students. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know what, it's, uh, I took home ec, you know, like we were talking earlier, Tom, and uh, th this is really like uh, uh, home ec on steroids here, learn how to cook here. You know, it's really uh, serious, teaching them some really life, life skills. Yes, he is. Yeah. Well, Thank God, you, Daddy Jack. We appreciate this. Well, God, you know, we got a lot of nice uh, donors that are helping us out, and uh, you know, we got to all stick together during these times, you know. And sure. and uh, you know, Chef Tom drove all the way down from Canton, you know, and yep. so making we're gonna we'll do this, uh, continue this, uh, maybe step it up next week a few more, you know, sure. thirty, 
You know, we have about 200 students. Yeah. We'll make sure we can try to cover all of them, you know. We'll awesome. work together on it. Excellent. Right. Thank, you. God, Thank you. God bless y'all. You do the same. Thank you. My granddaughter to help. Huh? That's your. Hey, how you doing in there? Good, how are you? Oh, nice of you to help out. Your grandpa's. Oh. I need to get out of the house. I'm slowly losing my sanity. Oh, uh, yeah. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe? Yeah, well, you know, it's awful nice of you to do this. Take some time. You know, it's nice to get out of the house, too. Yeah. It feels, it feels good to do something a little charitable, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It does. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of my uh, extra virgin olive oil. Wonderful people in uh, Westerly, uh, Suzanne and Dave Capistrano, make this incredible, not make, but they sell uh, incredible oils and uh, vinegars from around the world. Okay. Take a little bit of the Daddy Jack's like parm. Sprinkle that on there. And there you have it. Bon appetito. Looks awesome. Good job, Jack. Keeping us all in uh, good eats. Thank you so much. Amazing guy. Your heart is so big. Matched by your wonderful spirit. Don't, don't rip a hole through it though, you want to get just the edges. Mm. You can talk, put a little more sauce on there. Hey, this is Rob. Good fellas. Good fellas. Wood fellas. What? <laughs> hey, wood fellas. So I'm thinking. You know what I was thinking, man? I was thinking because I, I passed you, and it was like I said, Rob. Rob is the godfather of the wood fire pizza on wheels here, man. You've been around. How, how long have you been doing it? So New London County, I was the first one. 2010. Yeah. Started as the Rolling Tomato. Yeah. And now I heard emerged to uh, Woodfellas. Yeah, you had a couple of brick and mortar places too, right? Oh yeah. yeah you still you still got a, a brick and mortar going? Stonington Borough, the Velvet Mill. Oh, no kidding. Next to Beard Brewery. Are you really? When they're open, you get our pizza from their tap room, you betcha. How's that going for you? It's going great. Man, you're you're a true entrepreneur, man. You're out here, you're out here, you know, doing it and uh, you know, keep keeping it rolling as they say, right? Well, thanks, Jack. I appreciate it. it means and, a lot coming from you. Oh, man. You you're uh 
I got to get myself one on wheels, man, because, you know, this uh, overhead and everything like this, the rent, and we don't even know. I, I, I'm going to look out for a nice food truck. That's what I want to do. I'll sell you this one, kid. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a little too fancy for me, man. I want something with just two wheels, not, not, we got four wheels on here. Well, this is nice because of the weather. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, and it keep, but outside, outside there's a more of an ambiance, a little intimate. Yes. Like cooking pizza with, you know, it's more in, in engaging. Yes. This is um, a little more uh, for all occasions, all weather, year round, which is good. Absolutely. I just, uh, we did a, uh, the chef from the London High School, you were asking me about my pizza kits and Chef Tom from the London High School just, uh, called me up he's got uh, 200 students and he said well can we start out doing 20 kits we got donations you know from Tom Garbati Garbati Builders Richie De La Santo with heating, Richie's Heating and Air a lot of a lot of nice people you know and we're just you know we can put together the kits you know pretty in inexpensively so we're just doing what we can do and uh, you know you're providing a real nice service here people pulling up in the parking lot here and can order from you and God bless you. Yeah, if you need any help with those kids for more donations, I can also supply some kids. No I kidding. Can bring a pizza to the to them. Wow. The trucks, we can work something out. Let's uh, let's talk, man. All right, buddy. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Rob. All right. Good Appreciate yes. you. Hi. Hey, so who shows up here? My friend Kiki. You know, Kiki <laughs> you works know, with I'm us. A taster, you know. Kiki works there. She knows where all the good food is. Hey, I've been missing you, Kiki. I know. I miss you too. Jeez, we don't even see you at church anymore. But I saw you on the Maidry Temple. Yes. You're, your spokes, new spokesperson for Maidry Temple, huh? All right. Hey, love you. Miss you, honey. Okay. Rod's the master. How many pies you made in your career there, Rob? Any idea? Oh, boy. <laughs> Actually, I was trying to think of that. I don't think I could ever count. <laughs> How'd you first learn how to do it? I gotta be honest. Self taught? Uh, a lot of YouTube videos. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got their own technique, man, on, on, on stretching the doughs. Yeah. I see you got your own special movement there, uh, twirling them a little bit. Yeah. That's a good one. That centrifugal force, man, opens it right up, right? It's hard to, yeah, it's hard to teach. But you just yeah, yeah. Gotta, yeah. You just gotta do it. Tips. Little yeah. Tips. Yeah. Stay away from the middle, just work the edges. Yeah. Hey, Rob, I gotta be honest with you. When I, was, when I went to cooking school, I did my, I did, I worked in a pizzeria, but it was Greek style pizza. Pan pizza. Pan pizza, like Greek, you know, stretching the doughs. Yep. Uh, you know, thin crust is not my forte, man. Look at this setup, man. It was beautiful when, once you get it paid off. Yes, sir. You got no, no overhead, no rent to pay. Yep. Insurance, you got just your moderately, ins moderate insurance. Gas on the truck, that's about it. Gas <laughs> on the truck and the generator. Yeah. We we'll take a look at that, man. Right, you make it right on the paddle. Oh, sure. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a, that's skill. I'm loading two at a time, man. How old's the trailer? Two years old. Two years. 2017. Wow. Yep. You've had it that long? Oh yeah. You keep it like brand new. Yes, that's nice clean. You know, you, you you hire anybody to. Uh, to, to run it when you're not, when you don't or you no, just no no owner operator I come out yeah you might see a cashier but uh, no too too much investment of my product right. my name yeah yeah and my equipment yeah. to uh, have responsible other people responsible you're still doing a lot of a lot of like parties in the summer and back backyard parties and well, caterings we do a lot of weddings yeah we do a lot of weddings they've been all of May's been postponed. To the end of the year or even next year wow so i got a bunch of weddings next year and for 2022 wow we already got about half dozen for 2022. hey book them dano as they say right yeah everyone yep. loves pizza it's a pizza party yeah man 